What is up guys, welcome back. So this is my, this isn't my usual but I decided to just um, make a really really quick video um, just kind of kind of telling the people that like literally have no idea how to do this, how to do this. Um, a, lo a lot of people have been asking me how to play, how I play this on PC because you know I, whenever I record my videos I'm recording on PC and they see my mouse clicking stuff and they're like hey how do you play Monster Super League on PC so I'm gonna be introducing two apps that I use to play various um, various games various Android games on on PC one of them is Boostax I think most of you guys heard about this before the other is Nox so as you can see both they both run they're, they're both able to run the game um, on my Nox one, I'm running a second version of the game. I, I started a new account. Well, I didn't actually. I'm not planning to play this account, but you know, I just uh, decided to t test out the app, and and I used a second account uh, and tested it, um, you know, on Nox. So for for Monster Super League, you're actually able to run it on both apps. I think I've. Um, it's a little bit smoother. On BlueStacks, it, it looks a little bit smoother on BlueStacks. But all in all, if you're just playing the game, it doesn't really matter. For me, I'm like trying to record, and this, I want to like provide the best uh, like quality um, of graphics as possible. So I think I I, I would prefer to use BlueStacks. Um, a problem I ran into with the Nox app is I'm actually not able to log into my Google account. I, to, I had to log in through Facebook in order to to start the game. And um, so if you're game is bound to your Google account then it might not work on Nox and um, I've I've heard that BlueStack uses a lot more resources so sometimes even for me it doesn't happen a lot when I record but it sometimes happen when I stream um, if I'm if I have BlueStacks on I have a bunch of things on and I have um, and I start streaming then my BlueStack starts lagging so that happens sometimes but it's it's very very rare and for most people it probably will never happen um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. It's it's really really simple. All you got to do is download it, and you you just have to go into your you, you have to log into Google. Obviously, um, it's just like whenever you have a new Android device, you log in, and then you there's Google Play stores on both of these apps. It's, they're like you know legit Android emulator apps. Um, you don't have to you don't have to like the the APK file and drag it in or anything like that or anything complicated like that. Um, all you really got to do, I, I have no idea why it keeps loading now. Um, all you really got to do is is go into the Play Store and download the game, and you're able to, to play it. And as you can see, everything is like perfectly smooth. Um, and all you need to really do is go on Play Store. I would still prefer to use BlueStacks just because of how it's. I think it's a little bit more um, friendly to the. Windows user because you're able to open like various games at the same time on top of it. So you can just click like you know if you have another you can have another window of a different game open, you can do that at the same time. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. So hopefully this this answers some questions about how to how to do this. And if someone happens to come across this and hopefully this helped you guys out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.